in dozens of areas are battling strong winds and temperatures in the 40s in a bid to gain control of the blazes. There are fires raging all around Adelaide. The Cleveland and Brown Hill Creek Conservation Parks are ablaze after the Mount Osmond fire, which flared up again today, jumped the Mount Barker Road. The fire is burning on both sides of the road and burning on a front up to and past Mount Barker. As far as uh, at this stage, we don't know whether the townships have been damaged. We know that there has been extensive property damage in all fires, but uh, we haven't had any uh, uh, comprehensive damage reports as yet. At the moment, about, about 40 houses have gone. Cars have gone, trucks have gone. It's, it's, it's absolutely just the most incredible thing I, I think I've ever seen in my life. We are, we are in major strike. We are, we are crouching down behind us. Behind a farmhouse, there are children. They're spraying us with water. The, the sky is red and then white. It's going crazy. The fire's jumped 100, 100 feet high, 150 feet high, straight over the top of Green Hill Road. There are something like 120 houses at risk up here. I don't know how many have gone. We are in deep trouble. We don't know. We can't see any houses. The Green Hill Road is just wiped out. There are a dozen people. We, a dozen people here with these. We can hardly breathe. The air is white, but the air is white with heat and smoke, and, and it's red, and there are women crying, and there are children here, and we are in trouble. Murray, does it look like the firemen will be able to get control of the situation from where you are? My friend, I am a, I am a bloody fireman, and there are firemen here with me. And there's one summer town here that gone down the road when the flames came up, like an express train. I don't know what happened to them. They disappeared in the smoke. It's a, it's a summer town unit. Murray, do you know if any help is on the way? Don't know if there's any help on the way, and I doubt if it can get here. We have, we have trouble. And it appears the guard boat might have passed over the air force and does it smoke, and I can hardly breathe. There are people crying, and this is just too much. And I, I can't, I really, I really can't believe it's happening. The wind here is gusting 50, 60 mile an hour, but none of us can see. At the moment, I'm watching my house burn down. I'm sitting out on the road in front of my own house where I've lived for 13 or 14 years. Uh, it's going down in front of me. The roof is falling in. It's in flames, and there's nothing I can do about it. Absolutely nothing. There's been a fire unit here from Somerdown pumping water till we ran out and and the flames are in the roof and ah, oh, God damn it, it's just beyond belief. I, my own house and uh, everything around is black. There are fires burning all around me, all around me. And the front section of my house is blazing. The roof has fallen in. My water tanks are useless. There is absolutely nothing I can do about it. All my belongings, Frankie's, Frankie's taking the children down to town. The last I saw of Frankie, she was at the summer down at the Green Hill fire station, manning the radio. In the car were our personal files, and with our children, with friends downtown, with a bunch of photographs. The rest is a total write-off. The house is just going before my eyes. Confirming the death toll so far, at least 20 people in both South Australia and Victoria. In this state, the death toll is 18. Stock damage as well in the southeast of the state is reported to be massive with extensive losses of buildings and property. The death toll means that today's fires are the worst in the recorded history of South Australia.